G.I. Joe has partnered with HasLab to create the very first classified series G.I. Joe Assault Copter Dragonfly XH-1 with anticipated deployment in summer of 2024. Each HasLab helicopter you back for $274.99 could get you a G.I. Joe Assault Copter Dragonfly XH-1 along with an action figure of the latest G.I. Joe classified recruit, William Wild Bill Hardy. This is Yeehaw! And welcome to Seas Multiverse. I'm your host, Tyrus. And man, all my G.I. Joe dreams have come true because I have officially, I can oh, I can officially scratch off the Dragonfly slash Wild Bill combo off my G.I. Joe wish list. Now, now I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you a bit of a spoiler alert. Last year, I did that G.I. Joe wish list video part one in Wild Bill and the dragonfly was a part of that y'all so if you haven't done, checked that out be sure to do so it it is eerie folks because there's so many characters that i had on that wish list both one and two that have come to fruition but folks i am so excited about this thing i mean where do i begin so this is the dragonfly xh1 and it comes with a number of cool accessories and working functions and features man to begin with folks this thing looks incredible. <laughs> it looks incredible, man. This is the Dragonfly that I've always wanted as a fan. Let's start off with all of the missiles that this thing is featured with. Much like the Sky Striker, it comes with six blast effects. It also comes with a manual propeller that spins around, which is really cool, man. And then on top of that, man, this thing has a deploy line which is a really cool feature I, I like that the deploy line it's just the little things folks so you got the deploy line that you can attach your gi joe classified figure to and it kind of reel them in like they're a big old fish i like that function as well it does have a number of uh, compartments that you can open up and everything much like the uh sky striker you know whether it be the uh cockpit the doors the windows to the cockpit or whatnot there's little compartments around the dragonfly that you can open up as well so it's reminiscent of the sky striker but yet it's something new and different as well man and again i can't harp enough on just how awesome this thing is there's just so much to this dragonfly to be excited for and to dive into man but yeah it looks incredible folks it has a number of working features and functions and along with all these things, well, I ain't done yet, folks. Along with, but along with all these things, man, this has a light up feature, which is pretty awesome. Now, I didn't see that coming, folks. The cockpit of the gunner and the pilot of this Dragonfly section lights up. The dashboard lights up, and it looks beautiful. And this is just the prototypes during the presentation, and it, and it still looked incredible. So the, the cockpit for the gunner and the pilot uh, side of the Sky Striker, not Sky Striker, but the Dragonfly lights up. And that's not all, folks. The headlights light up as well as the strobe light. So you get all these light up features, these working components, the blast accessories, the missiles, and the effects just look so awesome. When they attach the missiles to the blast effects, those things, I really it really brings this helicopter to life that much more it makes it larger than life man it's just just so cool to see that we get the things that we're getting now man it's just it's mind-blowing man but so if you don't know i am excited about this thing folks and like i said man i had this thing on my gi joe wish list from last year so i mean i'm just beside myself and on top of all these things on top of how aesthetically this thing just looks magnificent and accessories and the working features and the functions and yada 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 my main man wild bill is in the house folks and i'm just ready for this guy man he is just so awesome one of my all-time favorite joes you could put him right up there with spirit because this guy is he's it for me man uh, folks listen if you don't know I'm, i've mentioned in previous videos i'm a big western fan i love cowboy movies and westerns bonanza is my favorite series I love Gunsmoke. I watch Bonanza through the week, folks. I'm watching that show. I love that show. So Wild Bill is right up my alley. <laughs> I love Wild Bill. So he is just, they nailed him. Even in the proto images, I mean, he looks incredible as well. He looks like Wild Bill. They did not deviate or stray away from who we know this character to look like. 
I love it, man. He looks awesome. He comes with dual cowboy western pistols. The western cowboy holster. I love that. That tugs on my heartstrings, man. I love it. He has that big cowboy hat that is removable. And he has the little wig that you can place on his head in case you want him to be without the hat. Much like Lady J in the shipwreck. So I love that idea from the G.I. Joe classified side of things. He has a knife which has a working sheath that's on his little vest area. And he has glasses that can be removed as well. So this figure is just like the icing on a cake for me. I mean, I just, I've just wanted a Wild Bill figure. But to get Wild Bill and the Dragonfly, I felt like they had to put the two together when they did release this. I mean, it's just like peanut butter and jelly. It's like Peaches and Herb. I don't know if y'all remember that, that, that old music group, Peaches and Herb. Who else I think of? I don't know. I'm just that Batman and Robin, you know, whoever. But man, this is, it just had to happen. So this is a dream come true for me as a fan. Now to get down to the logistics of, you know, how much this thing is. Price of this thing is $274.99, which is $274.99. Uh, this is for me, I think it's feasible. I think it's, it's, it's not bad. I don't think this is an overblown price. You know, I figured we would be hovering around maybe that $300 price range. And to look at what we're getting with this Dragonfly figure, all the light-up features, the accessories, the working components, I feel like in this day and age, man, that's pretty feasible. I feel like that's not too crazy. $274 is still a lot of money. You know, I'm not, don't get me wrong, but I don't feel like they went too crazy with the pricing. I really don't. I really don't feel like they went crazy. I feel like it, it's not it's not the same as the um, Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance thing with the Marvel Legends. I don't, it's a totally different situation. I think this price does meet what this figure has, uh, the set has to offer, much like the Sky Striker. The Sky Striker was a, I feel like that was a steal because you got all that for, I think it was like 224 or something like that. And I figured this would be a little bit more. Now, folks, in order for this campaign to move forward, it will have to reach 10,000 backers by 11.59 Eastern Standard Time, July 17th, 2023, which I feel will not be an issue at all, folks. This thing is almost, it's literally halfway through. So I feel like by the end of the day or tomorrow, it will reach that threshold. And on top of that, if it hits 13,000 backers, it will unlock its first tier, which is the Night Force ripcord action figure not sure why they keep going with night force ripcord they did that with the sky striker i don't know why we're not getting classic ripcord but it's all good he looks incredible as well i'm hoping we unlock him i'm pretty sure we're gonna unlock this guy and then there are other tiers that run 16,000 and 19,000. they tease that we might get more which i feel we will need more i feel like this thing is going to clear all tiers and they're gonna to have to add something else to the mix as well folks let me know in the comments what do you think do you think we're gonna hit this threshold for it to move forward and do you think we'll need more tiers uh as this thing goes on let me know in the comments folks but man i'm excited about this wild bill and dragonfly again this is a dream come true for me as a fan my joes could use some air support as you can see i have the gi joe team on the table of much of my G some of my gi joe figures this is not all of them but I got, uh, you know, a team of G.I. Joes on the table here. A few more other things that I want to touch upon in regards to this Dragonfly is that it's very customizable, which is a huge thing for collectors. You know, a lot of collectors, we want our vehicles to look different. Some might want it to look like the classic Dragonfly. Some might want it to look like a little something different, you know. So that's cool because I anticipate, you know, we're going to have a lot of people out there who are going to buy maybe multiple five, six, seven, ten Dragonflies. So they might want it to look a little different, which is really awesome. This thing is 34 inches long. So you're getting a pretty big vehicle. And on top of that, folks, I love the display stand. It comes with an adjustable display stand that looks awesome as well. It has that big Dragonfly logo at the bottom and everything. So those are some things I most definitely wanted to touch upon, man. This thing has it all, folks. It has everything that I would want out of Dragonfly. The only thing that it doesn't have is a sound feature. And, you know, that's it, man. But I'm cool with everything that this thing brings to the table, folks. And uh, to say that I'm excited is a, uh, <laughs> it's an understatement. It's, it feels like poetic justice in a way because it's just like, finally, Wild Bill and the Dragonfly. Bring it on. Yo, Joe.
But folks, let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to comment below, folks. Be sure to do that. I want to see what you have to say. Comment below. Also, ring that bell for all notifications so that you get each and every one of my content pieces as it drops. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's right. Like, share, and subscribe, folks. If you did that, I truly appreciate it. And until next time, folks, be good to one another. Be safe. Stay tuned. And always remember that knowing is half the battle. Until next time, folks. Bye for now.